Greetings Aries, welcome to your horoscope. Now what's going on here? Well, we, you know, your fire sign, Gemini's an air sign. So in Western astrology, when we look at Aries, we're looking at a new beginning, we're looking at initiating, and we're looking at ultimate amount of courage, and even at the, at the point of maybe so reckless courage. When we think of Aries in terms of experience, we're thinking none. <laughs> we're thinking a baby. We're thinking a newborn. We're thinking someone who um, may even lack social grace. I mean, it's possible. It's like, that sounds so cruel to cross, but let me, let's also put it in this term. This is a person that's willing to try new things. This is a person that's willing to make mistakes. This is a person that gets angry quickly, but they also forgive quickly. And these are important characteristics. And so, and these are things that we need to know about. And that's how we move into Aries here. All right. Um, <clears throat> so with the full moon in your ninth house, I would say this is a good weekend to travel. When the, when the moon does get full, it's a good... Good time to initiate vacations. I mean, we the third house is where the sun's transiting for Aries. It enjoys travel. Mars is there. Mars enjoys travel, although definitely keep your vehicles in good working order. Whenever Mars is passing through your third house, it's, it's a must. You, you take care of that stuff. And Mercury's retrograde, so, you know, there could be delays on trips. This is a good time to take the scenic route. This is a good time to be patient and have B plans, you know, in case things do go wrong. Something else to do. <clears throat> <clears throat>